all right so now we have seen that how we can open a browser how we can close a browser how we can set the properties for example visible and how we can uh, navigate to a particular url now it is time to talk about html document because for the rest of the course if we will be talking about automating different elements on the page it is important to understand what this document is because all the elements on the page exist on the document now this document contains the entire dom which has all the elements present on it and since the url takes some time to load so that's why we need to put a weight here so for now i am putting a hard coded weight but there are better ways to handling this weight so for now i am putting a statement application dot weight now plus time value 5 seconds all right so once it opens google.com it will be waiting for 5 seconds to reach to the next step which is ie dot quit but we are not going to quit here because we need to deal with different elements of the page so for that we would be requiring the document object so i am declaring dem ht as html document for example remember in the previous lecture we have used doc as this object but we can use any name so now we are going to assign it so set ht equals ie dot document and this step i will be writing after waiting for 5 seconds so that i can let the page to load completely now it is subjective that this page can take more than 5 seconds or may take less than 5 seconds so this is not the right technique to apply the wait we should ideally wait for browser ready state or busy state or either we should check for existence of some elements on the page and then only we should perform some actions on the page now since we have this object handy we can access any element on the page using ht dot various functions that we have to access elements like get element by id so in the next tutorial we'll be talking about these methods